Jay. You're right, though. Uh, Okay, so we are. Oh, Jesus, we're good. We just walked through the Epcot Food and Wine Festival Center, and now we're walking through to the other side of the park to go ride Figment. There's so many riding Journey into up Imagination, there. so and then we are going to go start. I'm not going to say it because it might have been a couple Hitting Food and Wine boots. It's almost lunchtime. And then the dancing. Aw. Oh, the fountain's dancing. Club pool for got after it. Figment. Uh, Alright, Mom. Let's go to showcase. I went to his house. Got a fast house for Figment. Okay, so change plans. Not riding Figment. He gives me a headache. Run through Club Pool. Now I have to do what dream. I said. And then uh, head to Coca Cola. I want to visit that Coca Cola. How you getting, Cameron? Pineapple. Pineapple? You want some, what kind of y'all going to get? Might as well. I mean. This is, that pretty this is good. nothing new. We have this in the stores. But it's the special drink of Greece. You getting Bebo? You getting Bebo? We're just getting the good ones today. No more Beverly. I'm getting the good soda. Cameron, are you getting Beverly? There's other people that want to try it, guys. Which one's the best? Bebo. Kiwi mango. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's a really nice one. Perfect. Oh my god, you have to get that camera. Oh, so that's the first order. That's the first order? Yeah, that's the first order. Glad y'all know these things. Oh, so, sold. By the way, that is also the wing. Am I trying to put this one? Mom. Right. Which one are you giving up, Cameron? Thank you very much. Okay, so we are entering Food and Wine Festival over in World Showcase. Oh, you want to go that way? Cameron's yeah, we need to go that there. way because that's where. Where? Right. Yeah. There's Cameron. It's not okay. okay, so they're starting here with Next Eats. This is still in Future World. Yeah. Let's go see what these boots have. The Chew Collective, ricotta and zucchini ravioli, Peanut grilled beef skewer, mousse. Mousse? It's some ravioli. Do what? Getting the gr grilled beef skewer. Okay, let's go right over here and try it out. Oh my god, look at that plate. Okay. That is cool. You need to go get a fork. Back back for a couple minutes. Yeah. How is it? <laughs> Tasty. Right. This is the grilled beef skewer from the chew. There are three and, uh, things. Hmm. Gosh. I always count on you to go in for a bite. Mmm. That's really good. It's seasoned really well. It's tasty. What's what are you what's your results? Okay, here's the Chew Collective, so we gotta find a lot of flavor. sticker. Real good flavor. And it's um I, I like my steak to be medium rare mostly. And that's cooked a little more than that. That's probably about medium well. But still the flavor's good, real good. 
Okay, so we added, we added our sticker to yeah, our passport. so it's good. For the shoe collective. That's one of my favorite things at Epcot is the upside down waterfall. Love that. Is that water? That's water. Nope. Colby, these are your flowers. My flowers. Blue flowers, just for Colby. Oh, they're still blooming here. Our, our oleanders aren't blooming anymore. Look at all. Yeah. Mom, the chocolate. Okay. Yes, we must try the chocolate truffle. That's like one of those things. Oh, that breeze feels amazing. Okay, here's the chocolate studio. I need some. I need chocolate. But I left out yet. I want the liquid nitrogen almond chocolate almond truffle. Okay. I have a snack credit. Oh, you'll have to use over a Yeah. Look at that. Okay, guys. Okay. First bite. Picture? Yeah, hold on. Let Dad take a picture before you tear it up. It's good. You don't need a spoon. You need. You need a knife. All right, taste it. Chew it up. Savor the bite. Let it roll around. Taste it. Think about what you're tasting. What it flavors. What do you, what do you taste? Just good. Salt, you taste sugar, you taste caramel. How is it, Cameron? What does it taste like? Ice cream. Tastes like ice cream? Really, really, really cold ice cream. Really, really, really cold ice cream. They use, a, they use a chemical to make it. Really. Yeah, we watched them make it. Oh, look. I've seen people make ice cream. Monorail. It looks delicious. Hi, Monorail. I'm way back. I'm way back. Okay. Oh, Here. Hold. I'm gonna try. Is it recording? Yes, it's recording. Okay. This reaction oh. is everything. This is it's a really, really, really cold ice cream. It does. Yes. Is it like chocolate ice cream? Yeah, yeah. it's chocolate ice cream. So does it taste like something like you found out of a bluebell? No. No, it tastes better. It's different. It's it's ice cream, but it's different. It's got a different texture. Yeah. Super frozen. It was it was made like that. It's real creamy. They just. All right. So that ch chocolate truffle was interesting. And over here in the same area is the wine and dine studio. Seared scallop, pork tenderloin, trio of artisan cheeses. The seared scallop. Yep. Okay. I definitely want that. I'll try that. Yeah. Try the seared scallop and the artist palette of wine and cheese. Let's try that. And then she's with me too. Also have this. Okay, that one. And then can we have a wine and cheese palette, please? So we have one more moment. Okay. Can you go Thank you. This is called the artist palette. Who's gonna eat the blue cheese? And then that is the seared scallop there. <laughs> okay, this is the scallop. It's very weird. Nice. Like polenta at me. Isn't it like a fish steak? Yeah. It is. It's like a fish steak. And now mom it's tries so to weird. Try. It's excellent. Okay. These delicious. Very good. All right, now um, this is the question, Dad. Who's going to eat the vanilla cheese? That creamy sauce is really good. Who's going to be man enough I'll try to the, blue eat the blue cheese to eat it? None of us like blue cheese much no. in our family. I'm like Uncle Jimbo. Yeah. No, yeah. Uncle Jimbo loves the blue cheese. He That's what he's saying. Like a big circle of it. He doesn't know that that's Cheers. This is a 
Food and wine. Very creamy cheese. I wish I told you what they were. Oh, hang on a second, this wine. Uh -huh, uh -huh. We're not sure we what they are. Here we go. I just found it. All right. So this is a goat cheese with cranberry bread. Paired with a conundrum white blend from California. That's a dry, good. It's not good either. This is the goat cheese on dry cranberry bread. Goat cheese I'm not a fan of, I've had it before. This is the aged cheddar. How can you not like that? Yeah. <laughs> Ethan, here. Four eyes. Eight cheddar. Can you carry it with the... Ooh, that's good. Which one do you pair it with? Mm. This one. The aged cheddar goes with the Chardonnay. They put these on backwards. See, the aged cheddar goes with this one. Oh yeah, that's definitely Chardonnay. Chardonnay. Let me try that again. Chardonnay, this is the one it goes pairs with. The, um, the purple I just one. throw it all in my mouth. I don't. I'm not a good pair. <laughs> it's just, that's just like oh, I've got to have food in me. Oh, tastes great. <laughs> that no. is good. I don't understand the pair, whole pairing thing. I, I guess my palate's not sophisticated enough for that. But uh, that, I'm gonna tell you, I will drink it all and eat it all. It may not pair it right, but it's gonna be good. Ooh, try the cheddar with that. All right. So this was the chocolate and the wine and dine like here. A Artist palette of wine and cheese. You yeah. get a little flight of three different wines. Uh, and you get uh, three, a little, three different cheeses. Look here. Here's the, here's the menu. Jamaican beef okay. patty. Yeah. Patty. Islands of the Caribbean. Jamaican beef patty. Mojo pork. Look here. Chicken curry with mango, spinach salad. That was Congo. Oh. Oh, there's something last night talking to, uh, uh, what was her name? I forgot her name. Gina's, she's got her own food truck. I was talking to her oh, at yeah. Muddy Rivers while the kids were swimming. And uh, she she told me that, I, I, I said, I have a bad experience with curry. I don't like it much. She said, well, most people have had a bad experience because they use the powdered curry and they use too much of it. You haven't had real curry because curry is really a seed. Yeah. Out. Okay. And uh, so she said, when you, until you've had the real thing, don't judge it. Okay. So, All right. So we're not going to get anything from this food booth because... Because we've already had real Caribbean food. Yeah, so we're going to save our experiences for something we've never tried. Exactly. So we can still mark it off because we've actually had real. Alright, so we're going to head over to the UK Love now because oh, Ethan's she starving. Was Haitian. She was Haitian. Also. Oh yeah. Pigeon peas and rice. Yeah, she was Haitian. I told her, I said, you need to get that food. <laughs> Drive to Louisiana. Them Louisiana Cajuns love some Haitian food. That New Orleans is real rich in culture. You know, they love Mama. variety. Yep. It's a big ice. It's a big Mama. thing. Oh my God! Me about Mongolia or whatever. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. That tall tower. That's Morocco in Epcot. But see those buildings behind it? Yeah. That's the Tower of Terror. Huh. But they're see. painted to match. Those three. That so you can. Down? Yeah. I don't remember Tower Terror being that wide. Yeah, it is. It's huge. And so that's, they, they did that so you could, um, it would blend in. so it would blend in. That yeah. is cool. I didn't that is cool. Know okay. Ah, uh, finally got us a cronut. So I'm going to cut this in pieces. So you got to zoom in on that bad boy. Yeah. Oh, looky, looky. It's really baked. Coated with granule sugar. Who all wants some? Me. Y'all right. gotta take a bite. I don't want any. You take a quarter. I'll be taking a quarter. This is y'all's first time eating a crow nut, the boys. Ethan's, I mean, Elisa's second time. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. <laughs> uh, it's so good. It tastes cheesy. Well, I don't want to eat right now. Yeah. Not cheesy. It tastes like it. C'est la vie chez mon ami, hein? Mm -hmm. mm. Mm, behold the, the crow, crow nut. Nut. Uh, uh. So good. Look what we found. 
found a hidden Remy up there with some zucchini on top of the Canada. Right there. Who's the Remy? Remy! Look on top of the building. Yeah. We're continuing our second half Look, journey. In Canada, you get you can get the Canadian cheddar cheese soup. Oh my god, it's served with a pretzel roll. Do you remember how good that pretzel bread I is? I do. Me and Alisa had the good fortune of eating dinner over there. And look, you can get a little bitty filet mignon. And a matter of fact, there is Le Cellier right there. Pretty day here at Epcot, other than the heat. It's oh, the look here, Le Cellier. That's another entrance to it. Beautiful entrance. That's the entrance to it. You wanna go walk through the gardens? No. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, let's go walk through the gardens in Canada. We don't ever come this way. We normally start in Mexico. Yeah. I didn't even know this entrance was here, to be honest with you. The gardens here are gorgeous. Inspired by the spectacular garden of British Columbia. A what? Look at that. Stunning. <laughs> the Falls of Canada. We're over here behind the Salier and into the Canada. The back entrance. So, leaving Canada. Hold on, I need to call my mom. <clears throat> Trading post refreshments. Northwest, Washington. Why do you have the umbrella? Shade. Shade. <clears throat> it's not, not a freaking idiot. It's portable shade. Yes. Yeah. Because yeah. I, I said, Mom, can I get out the umbrella for shade? You said no. He didn't ask me to get it. Now let's see what Scotland has to offer. Mom, look at this. Oh, look. Oh, yeah. Get, go get in there. Ethan, you've got the tall one. All right. <clears throat> Then close it. Yeah, Scooter never said call me in his face then. Say cheese pickles. Cheese pickles. That's awesome. Wait, can you see? Well, I'm surprised you actually said it. <laughs> like in unison and everything. Cheese pickles. That's what me. Tag check. I don't care. Fact check, I don't care. I have an umbrella. Yes. He's past the point of carry. Okay, they have a, a band that pay, plays here. It's called um, the Alberta Bound. And they start at 2.15. And then our favorite British Revolution starts at uh, 3 o'clock. I was just, that music made me want to do that. Are you happy, Ethan? 
Yes. What do you have? I got fish and chips. Is it good? It's delicious. Fish. Only complaint is that they need a. Uh, So this is the crispy pork belly. Looks like it's got some black beans and some pico on it. The pork belly is bacon. Well, it's a little thicker than bacon. 